Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Lazian for the month of December for the Leos. Merry Christmas Leos, I am wishing you a wonderful Christmas, I'm hoping that your wishes and dreams will come true. Leos, I so love you guys and I want to see and thank you so much for protecting um, this channel and supporting this channel please remember this is a general reading please don't take the things in these reading personal because it's a general reading for a more personalized reading you can use the link below to order your 2020 reading to know what is coming up in 2020 these are extended reading for the month of december you can also receive via the link so whatever the issue is and the situation is uh, um, not to worry but things is going to be balanced out so please like and share these videos and remember it's just a general reading it's, a, it's not serious so please people don't take it serious okay um i want to say to each and every one thank you so much for being here supporting my channel all these years for all the people who have been with me for the beginning um, I'm realizing that some of you can't receive my videos because I realize what has happened but you can just go to my website or type in Catacon to find my videos okay I love you guys Merry Christmas and I hope to see you guys next year this is the carousel and this First week of December for you, Leah's is going to be wonderful. Whatever the issue is in situatsi, um, this is going to be over. Um, whatever deceptiveness that has played, it is going to be over. In the second week, I remember, um, remember, Leah's, that uh, this month, this month is basically Leo Sun Moon and Rising Sun. Leo Sun Moon and Rising Sun. December. This month of December for you, Leos, is going to be a wonderful alignment for an energy, okay? Then we have the end of the issue and a city motion, imperial transition that is coming up in the lives of the Leos, okay? So um, this month is four weeks and you're vibrating in a water energy the energy of the moon please remember that so it's going to be emotion second week is going to be emotion third week you're moving out of a situation some of you could be traveling in the third week some of you are getting out of a situation the transition the end come to a situation and you're moving forward you're getting out of a situation okay the fourth week i'm seeing in this inversion inversion is that you're going within yourself in the fourth week to realize what has happened and what has transpired so some of you could have been dealing with an organization whatever this organization however this organization comes up in your life but whatever that is transpired i'm seeing you leave in the month of november and the wheel of fortune is coming in and it depends on what the wheel of fortune is bringing you but i'm seeing that the wheel of fortune is bringing an end to something okay some of you have been going through a lot and i'm seeing you know you're happy you're happily getting out of something um some deception that has played you're happily getting out of some deception that has played you're taking um you're 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 looking within and you're moving forward um third week of christmas i see you could be traveling some of you leah's could be traveling in the third week of christmas something is coming to an end in the second week and um you know take that ending and let it go let's look what is coming up in your first week and second week you have the four of uh, um ones the four of ones so whatever is transpiring i'm seeing you're trying to bring back stability this could be foundation your foundation there's changes in your foundation you're trying to bring back stability i am seeing you have no regrets with something that has transpired you're letting it go and you're moving forward what i'm seeing is that end end is coming a transition end is coming some of you were dealing with an Aries and you have no regret of what happened with this Aries because of what has transpired. The quest of emotion is here. You're leaving this person. This is an, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion behind and you're moving forward. Whoever this quest of emotion is coming up as a Scorpio or a Pisces, you are 
um, turning your back on this person and you're moving forward. Whatever has transpired between you and this person, you have decided it doesn't make any sense. You're going within and realizing, I am not fighting with this thing anymore. I'm letting it go. In the second week, I'm seeing um, the youth of emotion. You're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion. I'm seeing this um, person is coming whatever issue and situation you were having with this person is coming to an end this is a young person this is a pisces cancer or a scorpion this issue and this situation is coming to an end and you're letting go of this situation then i'm seeing happy family in the week of christmas for you leos whatever the situation is i'm seeing a happy family i'm seeing you connecting with people connecting with family this is good i'm seeing um Whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing you returning home, some of you. If your mother is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, I'm seeing you returning home. However this affects you and however this is coming up, I'm seeing you returning home. I'm seeing you going within and thinking about an emotional situation. And I'm seeing you letting go and you're leaving this situation behind. The Two of Pentacles is here where you have to make a decision. And this decision has to do with um, um, a family issue, a young person. This could be a child or this could be someone you're in a relationship with that you have to make a, a decision about. But this is definitely a child or someone you're in a relationship with. You could be married to this person. So there's a lot that is going on for you, Leos, because I'm seeing you dealing with an organization also. So what I'm seeing, Leos... Um, there is a situation with foundation that is coming up for you, Leos. And whatever these issues and situation is, I'm seeing you having no regrets. Something has ended with a family and you have no regret. I'm seeing some of you moving forward, but I'm seeing you moving towards a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion person. And I'm seeing you going within and trying to figure out... You're going within and you're trying to figure out what exactly has transpired. Whatever has transpired, I'm seeing you having no regrets. Some of you are dealing with a cancer. Whoever this cancer is, I see you have no regret. I and this is a this is a cancer, a cancer person between the ages of um um um, between the ages of 18 and 45 you're dealing with a cancer person between the ages of 18 and 45 whoever this person is and whatever is happening I'm seeing some um, some decision that you have to make about a child um, some situation with home and some decision you have to make about a child so this is definitely coming up uh, some of you are going to be dealing with some issues where you're like I really didn't regret what I, whatever I did. You don't regret what you have done. So we see the energy of the carousel, and the carousel wants to bring back stability between you and a young Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. Now this is coming up as a Scorpion. So some of you have been dealing with a Scorpion, and you want to bring back stability between you and the scorpion, whoever the scorpion is and however they're coming up in your life, whether they're friends, whether there are people you have known. But the scorpion is between the age of 18 and 45. You did something to the scorpion so you could bring back your, your stability. And now it's as if you're wondering, was that the right thing to do? I'm seeing a Virgo come he in in this situation. So I'm seeing the end between you and a Virgo and you're moving away from this Virgo. You have no regrets from what has transpired. Now, whoever this Virgo is and whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing that you were building a relationship with a Cancer. And it's, 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 it's as if you have worked hard on building up with this person i'm seeing this person coming back to offer you love but you're wondering you have given this person so much so you're wondering you know should i really open myself to this person because i've done so much a lot of news is coming in i'm seeing fast space going in the third week 
going in the fourth week a lot of fast energies you could be traveling I'm seeing information coming from a Pisces cancer or a scorpion a lot of information this is a week of Christmas I'm seeing you definitely traveling and moving forward you're leaving and turning your back and leaving a relationship or a work situation or a partnership behind because this no longer serves you and you're deciding this is no longer I'm seeing no communication between you and this person whoever this person is I see you have cut the communication and end the communication because whatever the issue and situation is with your child I'm seeing just the there is a dead silence between you and your child just some dead silence and it's some of you are wondering what is happening with your child because there is some dead silence that is going on I'm seeing you Leo's in a lot of conflicts conflicts with a young Pisces cancer and scorpion person this could be a family member it could be a sister it could be a cousin but whatever is happening I see you have no regrets and there is a lot of conflicts that you um, Leo's are going through there's a lot of information and communication and there's a lot of conflicts I'm seeing you turn your back and decide that you you have made the decision turn your back and decide to move forward so whatever that was happening and transpiring you let go of a situation some of you could be um, um, some of you could have been working with a Taurus some of you could have been working with a Capricorn some of you could have been in a relationship with a Taurus or a Capricorn or this could be a family member a sister or a brother but I'm saying here that a, 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 um, an Aries is here that you cut all communication with this Aries and it has something to do with a Capricorn this could have been a family member or someone who you know but I'm seeing that you cut all communication and you have conflicts with this Aries and it is it is all about family because this Capricorn is a family this Aries is a family you you are having conflicts with a Pisces cancer or scorpion between the ages of 18 and 45 so a lot of kids is coming up he, here for you Leo's a lot of kids some of you are dealing with a lot of kids a lot of situations that is happening whatever the communication is I'm seeing that the in the first week of December some of you are going to be receiving an offer of love and asking for the return to stability between you and a Pisces cancer or a scorpion I'm seeing this person coming up and it's a scorpion that is going to be offering you Leo's love but I see you do not want to connect with this person do not want to um, communicate with this person because you know that this person has done some real deceptive things in the past in the second week I'm seeing a transition a transition coming in um, for some of you with a relationship a transit and, and a transition coming with within for some of you with a project and you're not having any regrets I'm seeing some conflicts here but you're not having any regrets you're you're okay with it it's as if you know if it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be and then I'm seeing you deciding in the third week of Christmas to just there's a lot of positive emotion um, communication that is going to be coming to you a lot of positive emotional communication that is going to be coming to you but I'm seeing you just keeping off people and situation abreast from you and you're 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 centering yourself and taking it one day at a time and honestly ladies and gentlemen I think it's going to be the best honestly ladies and gentlemen I really think that it's going to be the best because whatever is transpiring and happening is that you Leo's have been going through this enormous shift of changes um, and you're dealing with emotion in this month of December so just take it easy especially when you come on to the last week the first week is going to be good and the third week but a second week and the last week is of water energies and these are very emotional energies that is going to be happening very very emotional energies so just um, take it easy ladies and gentlemen now for the Leas and the Car Carousel I'm seeing love coming at you 
so you Leah's and you love definitely wants to come in you are going to be meeting someone new this person is a Scorpio and this person wants to offer you love this person wants to return this person wants a new start this person could have um, ended a relationship or a breakup with you and they want to return and I'm seeing that you're not really communicating there is a letter that is coming in of an end so um, some of you are a letter is coming in of an end it could be the end of a project or the end of a relationship but I'm seeing a letter coming in a letter and a message is coming in of new love from a Scorpio okay luck is here um, you are going to be moving forward moving a lot of positive information is coming at you a lot of positive information is coming at you and I'm seeing a stability is going to be coming in also so this is going to be good um, stability is going to be um, coming through and so this is going to be good so whatever deceptiveness is it's coming to an end you um, you Elias this is really wonderful because it's coming to an end I'm seeing someone um, wants to let you know how much they care about you and you're going to be having some luck luck with stability in your life is going to be coming up I'm seeing a lot of people also um sending you a lot of um positive love um positive emotional energies and you know letting you know uh whatever the conflicts is it's going to be over i'm seeing long-term stability is coming up and i'm seeing a lot of love whatever is transpiring for you leah's love is coming in but these people are coming in through emotional channel very emotional channel however these people are coming through they're coming through through emotional channel however this is happening and transpiring i'm seeing this coming through with emotional channel and this is going to be good news of a, an, an ending news of definitely an ending and I'm, I'm i'm seeing that you're okay with it so you're letting it go then we see some luck moving forward um you're going to be having some luck coming out of a situation and moving forward and this is really good and really positive so wonderful alignment of energy here leo so um i'm seeing you cutting all relationship with a young aries for whatever the um situation is and i'm seeing some of you waiting for to hear from your child some of you are trying to figure out what is going on with your child and waiting to hear from your child i'm seeing the shadow queen is coming in for you guys um and the shadow queen have to do with insecurity manipulations so be aware of what you guys are doing because this is an emotional month so whatever that you do can affect you in the long run I am seeing um, love coming towards you if you're networking or you're in a project or you're working with people I'm seeing a lot of positive uh, reaction is coming in to you whatever the conflicts is it's going to come to an end because I'm seeing that you're shutting it down whatever the conflicts is it's definitely coming to an end I'm seeing conflicts in the family a lot of conflicts in the family and it has to do with the Taurus and a Aries a lot of conflicts is in the family and it has to do with the Taurus and the Aries but I'm seeing some positive emotional a message that is going to be coming in in the third week and you if you are traveling it's going to be good in the third week I'm seeing really positive connection you could be visiting family and that sort of a thing that is what I see is coming up so this is going to be good i'm seeing happiness and joy coming up for you guys in this month so it's going to be wonderful remember ladies and gentlemen this reading um is a, a general reading so um to know who is the spices cancer scorpion between the age of 18 and 45 you gotta go and check out the ex the um the pisces cancer scorpion you need to know who is affecting your life and whatever conflicts you have in your family and then you can check that out and then you can know who are this these people family there's a lot of conflicts in family you leos whatever is transpiring there's a lot of conflicts in the family but i'm seeing some of you cutting 
um, all connection with a young Pisces Cancer or Scorpion. Cutting all connection with a young um, Pisces Cancer or Scorpion. These are really deceptive situation that is going on. For the rest, I'm asking you guys just to be positive. Uh, open up your heart to the and check out the reading below. I want to say namaste until next time.